there are several ways to represent the same complex number c. c equals to a plus j times b. This is known as rectangular form. It can also be represented as m times e to the j times v and this is known as the exponential form or polar form but the key here is to notice that regardless of which form c is represented they're representing the same thing in part two uh, let's talk about uh, how to add a time dimension to a uh, complex number C. In our real imaginary coordinates, Let's say there is a point here and there is a point here. If you connect the origin with the two points, this guy here is e to the j times 2 pi f naught t, and here e to the negative j times 2 pi f naught t. Here The angle here, theta 1, equals to 2 pi f naught t. And the angle here, theta 2, equals to minus 2 pi f naught t. And because, uh, look at the sign in front of the j, it's a positive sign. What it really means is that this point is rotating uh, in this plane along the origin origin uh, in the counterclockwise direction and vice versa because here there is a negative sign um, this um, complex phaser uh, rotates in the plane along around the original point in the clockwise direction here the magnitude here is j and uh, here Similarly, minus j, minus 1, and the 1 here. We can think of the points if we, if, if we write these complex numbers in vector form. We call these two vectors complex phasers. And uh, we can think of the tips of these two uh, pointers as a quadrature signal. j 2 pi f naught t. The key here is that for e to the j 2 pi f naught t, when t increases, uh, this quadrature signal rotates in the counterclockwise direction. And the, the more uh, negative uh, with the time uh, increasing, the more the larger the phi, phi one becomes and the more uh, it moves for e to the minus j 2 pi f naught t with the t uh, increases uh, theta 2 becomes more negative and uh, this quadrature signal goes around in clockwise direction 